So we're going to go through the whole trade idea generation process again. Uh, they've been asked to generate ideas uh, that they believe are going to pay the best returns if the pain trade occurs in the first quarter of 2016. Um, and also look at structuring the trades in the most optimal way. To set up the stop for a stop. So, for example, if you and you are thinking that okay, the stock is going to go up. I mean, they all come with their own ideas. We are looking at the option monitor, uh, the stock chart, uh, the underlying, and to see if it makes sense or not, or what could make sense. We compared the basically the emerging markets. Uh, we've got the first year earnings for well, for this period is 32. The following years. 26. So and is this P, P? That's P, yes. Okay. Are actually predicting these numbers for a reason. And they're predicting them because the companies guided them towards them. So the information will be out there online somewhere, for sure. It's a public company. So they have a fidu fiduciary duty to update the public on the operational performance of their business. They have to. It's, it's regulation. And it'll be publicly available. It's out there. <coughs> so you've got, to, you've got to know why the earnings are growing by that much. We've come down to basically trying to get to the, uh, get something we can trade in the option side. Right. And we selected the, mark, the March uh, option chain. Yeah. Okay. And the spread is 100. Mm. So the sell's 100. So what is it, 80? 85. 85 to 100. Yeah. So the 85 is okay because 1 to 145, so you take the mid, you get 125. Because the, the, the market is, is, I mean, the market maker is between 180 to 224. Mm -hmm. So if you want to trade, that probably <coughs> most of the time you'll be in between to get filled. The 75 85 call yeah. spread. Trying to capture $10 for a dollar fifty, two dollars spent, something like this. But then your risk reward isn't great. So it's not screaming, put on an options trade because it's better than buying the stock. It's, uh, <coughs> it's kind of here and all that. And you'd have to check the prices on the platform and try to get risk reward ske skewed massively in your favor to justify even thinking about it. But it's good, like the only way to progress is to know how to do these things. What's good, what's bad, what works, what doesn't. You just do it loads of times. The great thing about today is we've learned, going through the whole process, what looks good as a trade idea and what is a trade idea rejected. And now you know that, it's much easier to go out and further the education and getting more trade ideas. We have chosen to have a cost spread of uh, at seven dollars and eight dollars. It's because uh, after having uh, the spread, we only have a cost of two point one six percent of the price, mm. which is fairly reasonable. We, we buy this call option and sell this call option. So the difference will be uh, zero point one one. So when you take 0 0.11 divided by $5.09 okay, So yeah. you're going to pay 11 cents, 11 cents for a stock that cost, cost $5 that is trading at $5 yeah. Okay, so you pay 2% Okay Yeah Okay So no one else is allowed to put that trade on and you guys can put it on in your individual books and I'm going to put it on in the Institute team book Right, well done boys, good work That's the first time we've gone through the whole process yeah top to bottom, found a proper trade and structured it correctly with full risk management. It's brilliant. Good work. It kind of took a while before we actually get to this, to this stage with all the analysis and stuff. So, you know, it will probably took four hours, three hours. I think more than that. Yeah, just, just like that from start to finish. So, you know, getting validated at the end, it's great. Everything starts start to make sense for them. So we went from no option uh, exposure, no option knowledge uh, a week ago 
to uh, a quite good knowledge now. So I think when they, they will leave, uh, they will know what to do and not only looking through, through the stocks. Right, boys. So uh, that's about it for the uh, mentoring program preparation. You should be able to run with what you've got. You know, what you've learned in the last four sessions is actually pretty high level stuff. You know, if you were to go any, anywhere else, like trading education companies in retail, the guys don't even know this themselves, the teachers. So you just gotta run with it. You just gotta take the processes that you've learned, apply them, repeat them, get good at them, make it second nature. Once it becomes second nature, it's a beautiful thing. So I bid you farewell and good luck. Uh, good luck, only good luck. <laughs> not, not to me. <laughs> good luck to you guys. No, it's been, for me that was the first uh, program, um, and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed uh, uh, looking at you growing. Um, uh, I think we are very lucky to work with Anton because the product is good. And literally over the last uh, 12 to 18 months, I've seen the, the strengths of the Institute. So you'll make money and you will learn a, a lot. <laughs>